Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business. Um, I'm very focused on my business. I own a restaurant. I own a Roma Time Bistro in upstate New York for the last 11 years. And I am extremely uh, focused on growing my business and improving my business. And I've been like that since day one. And that could be the reason why we are a success in a very small town. Uh, when we first opened, people took bets against us that we wouldn't last long. Um, and people still wondered how we've made it. And because we've been so successful, I had a lot of many, I've had so many other restaurant owners ask me what I'm doing. So that's how I created uh, my website, 50mistakes.com, F I F T Y or 50mistakes.com. And on that website, it's a whole cyber coaching website for restaurants and really for any business. And it just gives tips uh, of everything, mistakes that I've made and corrected and how I've moved forward because I've made a lot of mistakes in the last 11 years, but I've learned from those mistakes. And I want to talk about the benefits of a mastermind group today. Since late 2007, I've been part of a great restaurant owner's mastermind group. Now, it's no secret that mastermind groups are extremely beneficial. I mean, very, very beneficial. And... Uh, a lot of business owners, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs have used mastermind groups for years. And Napoleon Hill wrote about a mastermind group in his book, Think and Grow Rich, about Dale Carnegie. To surround yourself with other influential and successful people is the, basically the gist of a mastermind group. So here's some reasons why to join a mastermind group. Uh, advisement, uh, because the people in your group can advise you on your business. You can join a mastermind group for anything. It can be for business, it can be for personal, but a lot of people do it for business. And there are lots of different business uh, specialty mastermind groups out there. Um, so you can actually find one specifically for restaurants, specifically for maybe um, public speakers. So whatever you're looking for, they're out there and they exist. I recommend doing a Google search for mastermind groups, getting recommendations, putting it out on Facebook, um, putting it to some people that uh, you respect in the business world. And now here's the thing, you need to pay for a mastermind group. It's not something that you can just go and it's not, it's, you can do it. You can go and find a few other business owners in your area or without your area and form a mastermind group. However, it becomes more effective when you have to pay for it, when you have more skin in the game. When I first joined my mastermind group, I was paying $1,000 a month. Yes, $1,000 a month and we only met three times a, a year. Uh, was when we met. So I was paying almost 12 grand a year to meet three times a year, and then I had to pay for my airline flights and hotels to get to these meetings. People are saying, wow, that's really, really expensive, isn't it, Marcus? Well, when you can look at the benefits and the gains on your business, it's not expensive at all. But the thing about, I'm not saying you have to pay $1,000, but there's some, some out there that are cost 10000 a month. The more you pay, the more you have skin in the game, the more you have something to lose. So if you form it with people that you know, first of all, you might not be as accountable to them, you might not show up to the meetings because you don't have any money involved into it. Uh, when you join a group then you pay money, then they have more resources to actually bring speakers and trainers and do neat things when you do uh, meet in your meetings. That's, that, that's the really cool part. So the advisement part was number one. Collaboration. You can just sort of, you know, connect with people that are in your field and, uh, and you know, you can work on projects together, you can work on promotions together, uh, you can do a lot, a lot of things together and collaborate. Extend your network. You'll be able to meet. That's another advantage of joining one as, a, as opposed to forming one. You'll be able to meet new people, You'll be able to meet people that you have not met before and work with these people. Um, of course, it's all about learning. You know, the mastermind group, that's what we do. We share ideas. We cross-promote some of us. Um, we refer business back and forth. And granted, I'm in the restaurant. I'm in a restaurant. And we're all in the restaurant business. We're all in the restaurant industry. So you're thinking, well, how do you cross-promote? How do you, you know, you know we, how do you, how do you uh, sell, you know, cross-promote with each other? And there's a lot of ways to do that, a ton of ways to do that. And, you know, all of our restaurants are not in the same area. And a lot of these people have actually sent me business. If I know people that are going to a, a specific area across the country, I say, oh, check out my friend's, my buddy's restaurant, um, especially um, for catering and things like that. So those are the top seven reasons why you'd want to join a mastermind group. I'm going to tell you now the reasons um, or some of the specific activities that we do in my mastermind group. So we're going from generalities 
to now specific activities, okay? So we lock ourselves in a conference room for two to three days. And that's where we mastermind. We go into this conference room at 8 o'clock in the morning and we, we emerge at 5 p.m. But the mastermind doesn't stop at 5 p.m. because then we go out to eat and we go out as groups. And that's where we really learn a lot more because we pick neat, trendy restaurants that are in that area. And we usually pick a food town to begin with to go to. So we wouldn't go somewhere where there's no, where there, where there's, where there's no good restaurant scene. That's important. So we learn even after we leave the conference room. We bring all that back the next day. So first thing in the morning, we talk about our experiences the night before. Things we liked at restaurants and things restaurants are doing right and maybe not so right. Um... Really, this this is just a, a whole energizing thing to be able to, to sit down with. We sit down with about roughly 50 people. Not all of them are restaurant owners. Some of them are restaurant managers that come along with the restaurant owners. Some of them are couples who own the restaurant. But there's about 50 people in the room. And it's just it's so energizing to see that people have the same problems and the same successes as you. And Or if you see somebody that has had a tremendous amount of success, you're like, wow, I want to do what they've done. They've totally taken the bull by the horns in this promotion, um, on this project, on doing whatever, whether it's renovating, writing a new menu, uh, doing food costs, running more numbers. You're like, well, I want to do what they do. Look at the success they've had. Look at the amount of sales they've gained. Look at the amount of money they've made from doing that. So it really energizes you. Now, from that, we set goals. So we set goals and we physically write these down and we hand them into the lead of the mastermind group so he has a copy of our goals too but the neat thing is we set up an accountability partner where we report back once a week on our progress so we, we consolidate all of our goals we have tons of paperwork we do tons of notes we take um, idea funnels where every time you know there's an idea in the room you just write it down right because you never know what somebody else is going to say we can all speak at any time and there's a lot of times that we have guest speakers and trainers. Like I mentioned, if you join an official one and there's a budget for it, they'll get you speakers, uh, guest speakers, and trainers. So, you know, there's a lot of ideas that come about of that. And we hire, of course, success, other successful restaurant industry people. Um, and our last couple have been phenomenal because we've had uh, uh, restaurant groups that are in that have a whole training program or learning from other restaurants how they train their staff, how they run their business. Um, so last one was about Zingerman's in Ann Arbor. They have a, a not only a restaurant empire there, it seems like, but like all kinds of things from, from a, um, a candy shop to a, to a web order pro, uh, business. And they have all these separate businesses in Ann Arbor. It was really neat to see how they had, had their businesses set up. Um, so back to the weekly checkups. So every week we have to report back to our an accountability partner and make sure that we're on track and doing what we say we're doing. Here's the one part that I like. We call it speed masterminding. I can take one question, one question that in my business that I need an answer for, and I can speak to half of the group. It's called speed masterminding. We sit across from each other and you rotate chairs, one side rotates chairs, and so you literally go through half the people in the room. And I can ask them one question and get a four minute answer from them on what they would do. And that's when you sit and you just take a ton of notes because that's when they're gonna give you tons and tons of feedback. So for instance, my question was, what do you do for staff recognition? And I got tons of ideas what all these other restaurants do for staff recognition. So that's going to come in extremely helpful and handy um, in, in the next month to come and in, in informing um, just by setting policy and standard here at my restaurant of things that I can do to retain staff. Um, so that's, that's the really cool part about what we did in my mastermind group. We had a phenomenal speaker. I set great goals. It energized me. Um, and we, I've made a ton of friends uh, in this group. So that's really the cool part. We're all friends. Um, another neat thing is when they when they try to pick people for the mastermind group because you don't want everybody in your mastermind group. just because somebody can pay money to join your mastermind group doesn't mean that they should be in the mastermind group you want to pick people that are have specialties like i'm the youtube guy i'm the social media specialist so people can come to me if i want to go to see, learn about numbers and get more of numbers i can go to the person in the group that knows numbers and knows how to run data and do comparisons so all these different people have different ex, uh, uh, expertise 
So that's really important to find out what expert, what the expertise is. But it doesn't the mastermind doesn't end when we leave the conference. You know, of course we have goals, but above and beyond that, the masterminding happens um, anytime, anytime we want it to happen. It can happen. I can pick up the phone and call any of these other restaurateurs. I can send them a text message, an email, say, "Hey, I'm running. Uh, I need a, I need help with a promotion. I need help with an idea. I need help with something I'm trying to tackle." And uh, that you can keep masterminding. So it's not like I'm only paying just for three meetings a year. Now I don't pay a thousand dollars anymore because a good mastermind group will escalate uh, or decrease your price down because I've been in the group so long and I have so much more to contribute. Um, so the price in certain mastermind groups will actually uh, decrease over the years, um, sometimes significantly or substantially. And don't forget that when you first join a mastermind group in the first year that you're there, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck because you're gonna be surrounded by all these people with all these ideas and your brain's on overload. That's what everybody says that joins us. Like, oh my gosh, I'm taking back way too inform much information. That's how I was in the beginning. Now I take back less and less. I still take back a lot and very valuable, but when everybody was opening their mouth in the first couple meetings, I was like, that's an idea, that's an idea, that's an idea, that's an idea. Now it's, I've heard a lot of these ideas a lot of these people have, and they're, they're proven, true tested, long running ideas. Maybe I just might need to remind myself, but it's not a new idea, so I don't take quite as many notes as I did my first year. So your first year is crucial. That's where you're gonna gain the most. You're gonna gain, the, you're gonna gain a lot throughout the longevity, and of course you're only gonna gain as much as you input. So not only are you meant to be a sponge, but you're also meant to give information. So if you expect to show up and just steal or learn and not give anything, that's not the idea of a mastermind group. A mastermind group is there so you can put your input too. You have specialties, you know what you're talking about. You have your life experiences um, that you can share with them. So that's really, really important to be able to share the mastermind, uh, to be able to share in a mastermind group. So it's a two-way street, it's not a one-way street. Um, this is the most single best thing I've ever done for my business and my personal life, uh, but specifically my business because this is a business mastermind, is to join, uh, is to be in a mastermind group. That really revolutionized, revolutionized my business back in 2008. It's 2014 right now. I'm in record sales growth. I have record sales growth uh, several years. Every year I'm up in sales, and um, this year, 2014, is a record record year for sales. It's mind-boggling to know the amount of sales that we're doing compared to what we were doing five years ago and especially ten years ago. So it's the single best thing that thousand dollars a month in the beginning was well, well, well worth it. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Uh, I hope you liked this, uh, this uh, video on masterminding and uh, check out a mastermind group for your business. I highly recommend it. If you are a restaurateur and listening to this, email me and I'll we'll give you a lead to the mastermind group that I belong to. Okay, you can email me at marcus at marcusg.tv. Don't forget to check out 50mistakes.com. There's a lot of free information there. There's a great webinar on there on loyalty programs. Um, Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on.